Hi everyone, my name is Maisha and I'm a Sephora beauty director and today's video is how to apply eyeshadow when the skin around your eyes is very, very dry. Every now and then the skin around my eyes gets super dry, gets a little crepey and it can be really hard for me to do the eyeshadow that I like to do. If you've ever seen me before, I love a lime green, blue, whatever, smoky eye. So this is my go-to for anybody who has dryness, maybe crepiness. It's really simple, effective, very pretty and can be a really great boost to you when your eye area is not looking so great. So let's get started. Okay, when my eyes are flared up with my eczema, I tend to just try to stay away from makeup as much as I can and I moisturize, but I'm a beauty director. I worked in store at Sephora. There are just times when I have to wear makeup and with people that live with eczema, special occasions come up and you gotta wear it. So I would say when I'm not wearing makeup, like all last night, I relied on my Tatcha the Serum Stick. This is great whenever my eczema flares up, whenever I get a chemical peel and I have some dryness. It's basically a touch-up stick. It has some hyaluronic acid and some squalene in it. No active ingredients, which I really, really like because I'm normally like a retinol eye person or a vitamin C eye cream person. I like things that are very active and super emollient, but when my eczema is flared up, I just need very simple, effective moisture. And I just find there's something about Tatcha's products that work really well for my eczema. So it's this little serum you stick right here. What I like about it too is if I were to put a loose oil around my eye, it might kind of drip everywhere and kind of migrate. This, because it's in stick form, I usually do two swipes underneath, two swipes on top, and then the, on the other side I do the same thing. It stays put, it hydrates, it sinks in. So definitely prep your eye look at what you have and don't use anything too active. You just want straight up moisture. And then what I find when I'm doing makeup or on myself, I find that if I do have a client or myself that has very dry eyes, I can kind of tell they have eczema because I have eczema, I can kind of spot it. I like to do a very smoothing primer. One of my favorites is Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer and this is the anti-aging formula. I tend to use it for drier skin, drier eyes, texture and just smooth that on. So I already have those two products on. You don't need a ton. I would say when you're walking around with no makeup on just around your house, you could put a ton of this on. But underneath makeup, two swipes on each area is just fine. The first time this happened where my eczema was actually on my eyelids was maybe about seven years ago. And it was right in the middle of like the matte eyeshadow trend. And I just, I was trying to wear my eyeshadow the way I normally did because I had to go to work. And it was just falling off my eyes. So I fell in love with cream shadow. I think that's really when it started. So I find that cream shadow works best when you have drier eyes because it adheres really well. I really like a shimmery formula. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is my go-to. I use this every single day. And this is the Eyes to Mesmerize shade. And this is in the Rose Gold one. There's four or five shades that work really, really well. I just find the Rose Gold one works well for me because I tend to like more pinky toned, rosy toned eyeshadows. And I find that Charlotte Tilbury's formulas tend to work really well for smoothing and for the people that are kind of concerned with, with lines and wrinkles and things like that. It just, it's like an optical illusion, so to speak. So I'm gonna get a synthetic brush. I'm gonna be using the Sephora Collection number 27. This is the Pro Crease Brush. Really any brush will do. You can use your fingertips if you want, but my nails are kind of long. And I'm just gonna dip in here. You don't need very much. And the reason I'm using this shimmery shadow is because it's sort of like when you're doing your shadow and you mess up and you put glitter on top of it because it's so reflective, you can't really see what's going on. That's the, the idea here and I find that works well for me. It's so shimmery and it's more luminous so it just looks healthier and smoother. So depending on what you can see in the camera, I have lots of little texture here. I have sort of like a cross hatching of, of sort of superficial lines and wrinkles and that are kind of going this way and that way. And then I have some like very interesting vertical lines down here, which is kind of ignore. I'm taking a little bit of this shadow, concentrating it on the lid. And then once the brush seems like most of the product is gone, then we're just gonna move it upwards. Now, if your skin is actively really, really flaky, mine maybe a little bit over here, but it's okay. You can do a padding motion. A padding motion will work really well so that you won't sort of ruffle up any texture. If you have rosacea, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Sometimes if you buff on complexion, it sort of ruffles up the skin and irritates it. 
So just be really gentle. If you find that your skin is dry to the point where it's not really melting in as much as you would prefer, you can use your finger to tap it in. The warmth of your fingertips will help melt it a little bit. And you don't wanna to put too much. You just want it to sort of look like a little bit of a highlight. Put it as high up as you prefer. I'm sort of putting it over that very dry area right there to sort of disguise. But I think that's enough. I'm just gonna press it, tap it so it can melt in. And again, if you are having an eczema flare up or you just have really dry, dry eyes for whatever reason, the best fix is just, you know, moisturize, leave it alone. My trick was always to just wear my glasses at work so you couldn't really tell what was going on or really big lashes, but you know, I got lots of videos to shoot this week. I got events to host virtually, all that stuff. So I wanna wear a little something. This one I think is a little bit worse than the other one as far as the dryness and the texture. So I'm gonna be really careful right in this area. It's pretty dry and the, the wrinkles are pretty deep. That's also something too, a lot of times people think that they have really sort of advanced lines and wrinkles and a lot of times it's due to dehydration or an underlying skin condition and for me sometimes i wake up and i'm like i know i'm almost 35 but like where are these things coming from and sure enough it is an eczema flare up and then something to note too i didn't put a ton of concealer under here this is the first time that i've had puffiness associated with the eczema sort of flare up and the dryness so i didn't want to put a ton of concealer to sort of draw the eye down there i wanted it to look as luminous as possible so maybe think about your your complexion choices as well use a little less powder make them a little bit more moisturizing okay so i think that's good it doesn't seem like much but it's enough to have like luminous lids that look a little finished now optional if your eyes can take it i'm just going to use a little bit of brown shadow i'll be using the fenty snap shadows of course i keep mine snapped together it's like what else would you do this is the one and three i like one and three together because they're sort of like the light and dark neutral i'm going to be using one with a clean crease brush this is the number 19 it's a little bit more compact and domed i'm going to dip into this brown right here now if you are really having a tough time blending and you're putting it on and it's dragging and sticking because of the dryness, then you can tap into a little bit of like a shimmery color just to kind of help it help it blend and also that same optical illusion of shimmers are a little less, less you know, hard to determine what's going on. So they work to your benefit. So I'm just getting a little bit of that. And as I said, the dryness and the texture are here. So I'm really focusing on this outer corner area here and I think that's also like a lesson if you have hooded eyes, I see that a lot in the comment section, like there are other areas of your eye that you can concentrate on. I focus on other areas when I can't really utilize my crease, like I want to do like my very, you know, traditional Maisha smoky eyes. So I'm just using other areas of my eye. I'm just putting a little bit of something on the outer corner, not much, just to kind of draw the eye up and out. So you're not looking at that crease action right there. I'm dipping this lighter color, still matte. And it just gives it a little something. You don't want to put too much. Same thing over here. And more so, this eye is, this eye is even drier than the other one. So just right in there. Dip in this softer color. I kind of feel like, I think of it as like, these are contour colors. This is like a blush color if you kind of use it with complexion in mind. That lighter, more blushy color kind of softens. And what's great too, if you do get so dehydrated where your eyeshadow cracks, which I never have this happen with the Charlotte Tilbury one, that's why I like it so much, whether I use it alone or layered underneath something like I usually do, all you have to do is just tap, 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 tap. Don't apply more product. So I am going to put on a bit of liner and mascara and I will be right back. I applied some liner and mascara. I apply a little corner lash, all of that. I've done that a million times on camera so you can look at like any eyeshadow video if you really wanna see. But I did use the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. I really like it because it has a brush tip. I feel like a brush tip for me is a lot easier to use and I feel like it's a little gentler on the eyes. It doesn't tug on my eyes, so I really like that. So I hope this was helpful. When you have eczema and especially on your eyes, it can be you know really tough to wear eye makeup, but some days you just want to wear eye makeup. I found over the years as I've had flare-ups, these tips really work for me, keeping it simple, keeping it luminous, keeping my skin really soothed. Maybe in the comment section below, 
below you can tell us how you handle your eczema flare-ups or just like dry skin mishaps that get in the way of your beauty routine and it's always really great to share those tips and tricks and things you've learned over the years and as always please subscribe so you don't miss any of our content we love sharing with you we love making things especially for you and i will see you next time bye Thank you.